Believe Me, Goldilocks Rocks, the story of the three bears, as told by Baby Bear, by Nancy Lewin, illustrated by Tadefik Evakan. First things first, my name is not Baby Bear, it's Sam, and I am not nearly as wee or small or tiny as people think. And Goldilocks, ever since she broke into my house, she's been one of my best buddies. It's true that she takes a lot of chances, but she's not a bad kid, at least no worse than me. Let me tell you the real story, and you'll see. It all started when I complained about my breakfast. Porridge again, I said. The next thing I knew, we were all out the door for a walk. Dad, also known as Papa Bear, grumbled something like, he'll eat it if he's hungry enough. At first, I lagged behind. Stay where we can see you, baby bear, called Mom, a.k.a. Mama Bear. I ran ahead. Not so fast, baby bear called dad. I stamped my foot. My name is Sam. Then I ducked into the woods and took my secret shortcut home. When I reached our house, I heard a voice. Someone was inside. I didn't know what to do. Should I run to mom and dad for help? Or should I chase off the intruder myself? Baby bear would have made a run for it but not Sam. I peeked through the kitchen window. A girl was taking pictures with her cell phone. Ha, this will teach Little Red Riding Hood to double dare me, she muttered. Goldilocks does not lose at truth or dare. She paused in front of the porridge bowls. Ew, she said. I liked her already. Goldilocks took a picture of herself in my dad's chair, then my mom's chair. You want proof, little Miss Hoodie, she asked. Here it is. Next, she took a picture of herself in my chair. When she got up, the chair stuck to her rear. She waddled around. She jumped up and down. Finally, she gave the chair a good whack, and it came off in pieces. Oops, she said. There goes my allowance. See, she meant to pay us back. Not that I cared. That chair was way too small for me, too. Upstairs, Goldilocks slipped off her shoes, which was very thoughtful of her, and took some video of herself jumping on my dad's bed and my mom's bed. I can't believe I'm doing this, she giggled. Now, jumping on the beds is not allowed in my house. This was my one and only chance to get away with it. I tapped at the window. Ack! Goldilocks shrieked. Let me in, I begged. I won't tell. Goldilocks opened the window and we introduced ourselves. She apologized for breaking in. We were really quite civilized. Then we jumped and jumped and jumped and jumped. Until we heard my mom calling from the woods, Baby Bear, where are you? Goldilocks raised an eyebrow. Baby bear, she asked seriously. Never mind, I said, here's my plan. I ran downstairs just as my parents were coming in. Baby bear, mom exclaimed. Thank goodness you're okay. There's an intruder upstairs, I said. You know better than to go around making up stories, dad said. They sat down to eat their porridge, their cold, dried-out porridge. I brought in my broken chair. See, the intruder did this. What a naughty thing to do, Dad said, wrecking a perfectly good chair just to get our attention. 
But I saw her, I insisted. Come on. I tugged them upstairs and showed them the messy covers on their beds. Baby Bear, you know that jumping on the beds is a big no-no, Mom scolded. But the intruder, I said, pushing them toward my room. And as soon as we reached my bed... Boo! Goldilocks yelled. What happened next was priceless. Run! Dad cried. To our safe place! Mom screeched, and if we don't make it, I love you both with all my heart. I made sure they saw me chasing Goldilocks through the woods. In between her fake screams and my pretend growls, we traded phone numbers. Mom and Dad were so impressed with my courage that they gave me everything I asked for. A bigger chair, spicy breakfast burritos instead of porridge, and a promise to stop calling me Baby Bear. Well, there was one thing I didn't get. Can't I jump on the beds just once in a while? I asked. No, my parents said. Absolutely not. Hey, it was worth a try.